George Speed took a huge step getting back to those glory days of three years ago with a huge win yesterday at the Valero Texas Open. Great way to end a three-year winning drought. Speed started the final round, top of the leaderboard with Matt Wallace. He got off to a fast start. This is his tee shot on the par three over the water and right on line rolls up a few feet short. That was good for a birdie. He bogeyed the fourth hole but finished the front side with a three-stroke lead thanks to this birdie on number eight. Former Texas Open champ Charlie Hoffman was standing on his tail all day. Hoffman had another great round yesterday. This one for birdie on the 16th. That got him within one of speed. Then on 17, he hit his tee shot in the bunker. Still had this for birdie. Oh, a little short, a little left. Speed calmly sinks his birdie putt. He is back to his two-stroke lead, heading into the final hole, and the rest is history. Speed sinks the par putt, clinched a long overdue victory in his home state. Here's a look at the final results for you. There's Jordan with that two-stroke win over Charlie Hoffman. And there's Matt Wallace, Lucas Glover, right there at minus 12. I'll always remember this one. This is, um, is going to hold a special place in my heart. Uh, kind of, it's been a while after it kind of, it was pretty easy for me for a little while. And the game got really difficult. And, you know, I've kind of felt this coming along. And it's really cool to do it in my own state. I mean, the support that I felt out there was unreal. Um, just kind of egging me on every step of the way when I made birdies, when I made bogeys. Uh, it was, um, like I said, it, it, this will be a, a moment and a win that I'll, I'll never forget. Yeah, 83 straight events without a win. It ended yesterday, and look what else he gets to take home. A gorgeous trophy, a pair of boots. What Texan doesn't need a new pair of boots all the time. And, of course, he, look at that trophy. That's sweet. And $1,386,000. That check. That's a pretty good take, isn't it? That's a good take. Good take. Hey, spring break is over, but it's just the beginning of a season of fun on South Padre Island. SA Live went down there last year before the pandemic for a show on the go, and today they have an encore pre presentation for us. So take it away, Mike and Fiona. Well, you know it as a spring break hot spot, but you know what? There's still so much to do and so much fun to be had in South Padre Island after spring break. Yes, indeed. We went down there recently and oh my goodness gracious. First of all, the beach it is known for that sugary sand. And what is better than horseback on the beach? Yes. Find out what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no horses were harmed in doing this. I don't know we might have been, though. <laughs> and of course, sand sculpting. You mentioned that sugary, mm -hmm. beautiful sand. It's one of the best beaches in the world to do sand art. And some great tips on how to do the perfect, not just, you know, make a little sand castle, but something really, really artistic. Yes, and shiver me timbers and walk the plank. We <laughs> ran into some pirates. Then we learned pirate and we learned how to be pirates. Mm -hmm. And no pirates were harmed in that either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, of course, South Padre is known for all the sea turtles down there. They have a sea turtle sanctuary and rehab area, and Jen got to go with them as they release some of the sea turtles back out into the wild. And of course, we take a look at places to stay, great places to eat uh -huh. and enjoy the food. Yep, mm -hmm. that and a whole lot more, plus surfing down there because there were some waves kicking up. So that, as we head down to South Padre Island, that's coming up on SA Live. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather, streaming free on KSAT TV. A San Antonio man is turning his dark past of homelessness into an opportunity to motivate and inspire others in the homeless community. 52 year old Lee Edwards is the founder of New Day, New Way, a nonprofit organization. And since Edwards started the organization, he and his wife and several volunteers provide food, clothes and toiletries once a month to the homeless population. You can read more about his story on KSET.com. And right now we're sitting at 74 degrees, so we'll be up around 80 this afternoon. Look for that pattern of morning clouds, afternoon sun over the next uh, three or four days. And then temperatures really do ramp up. We're talking 90 Wednesday, 95 Thursday, still hot on Friday. Maybe an outside chance for a storm or two Friday afternoon. And then cooling down some as we work into the weekend upper 80s. But very spring-like, if not a little bit summer-like, by the end of the work week, guys. Thank you, Justin. That's our show for now. Thanks for joining us. With temperatures like he was just showing us, I guess the beach isn't a bad place to be, huh? I tell you what, SA Live at South Padre. They're going beaching. They start it right now. Where gulf waves crash and soft golden sand piles high. Where dolphins splash and sea turtles.
turtles roam free. Where you can get some of the freshest seafood. Play all day with your family and friends and then dance the night away like an islander. It's not just a spring break destination. It is fun at the beach all year long. We're leaving the Alamo City in the rear view and cruising down the Texas coastline to the best beach in the Lone Star State. It's SA Live in South Padre Island. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to SA Live in South Padre Island. Oh, uh, yes, and what better way to kick off our South Padre show than riding horses on the beach? It's such a beautiful setting. I have to say, this is so exciting. It I've is never exciting. seen the beach from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> good, it's a good point. perspective. <laughs> Something to check off your bucket list. Yeah. Oh, we have got a lot planned here in this gorgeous little paradise in South Texas. Running into you here. Oh my god, just happy to be on the same beach on horseback. Winter Prosapia, of course, the spokesperson for South Padre joins us on horseback. I know, isn't it amazing? I mean, this is like a dream, right? To be on horses on the beach. It's just a perfect time. And South Padre, so beautiful and so much to do. Honestly, Texas best beach. I mean, it is the crown jewel of Texas beaches. Water is warm. There's so much to do, so much adventure to be had. You can go fishing, deep sea or in the bay. You can catch big red fish. I don't know a lot about fishing, but it's a lot of fun and I've been there and they're good eating too. Some great places to dine on the island. It's a great time. And this is all summer long and even into the fall, right? So if you're wanting to make some plans, hey, anytime, come on down, right? Really anytime. You know, the best time of year is kind of early, right before summer starts because you're here before all the crowds get here. We've got the best sand for building sand castles. So if you want to build a really big sand castle, you've got the best sand right here and it's just a wonderful place to be. You get that island vibe the minute you come over that causeway bridge. It's really wonderful. So this is just one of the many things that folks can do when they come down here, at, again, be it in the water, on the sand, restaurants. I say we take advantage of this. I think it's time. Right. Let's get these horses going. Let's go, Mickey. Lead the way. question is, there's so much, what do we do? I don't know, I don't know where to begin. Too much. I know where to start, but we're probably gonna need to find a local, you know, somebody who really knows the area. Yeah. Who mm. only we can find. Artist of sorts, Look. right? Hello, 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 hey. hi. Hi, Fiona, Andy. this is Mike, Jen, you, sir. David. Hi. How's it going? Good to meet you. Champion sandcastle builder and artist. So we're trying to come up with ideas on what we should see down here in South Padre. Well, we have the best beach in Texas. That's uh, easily well. We have the best beach in the USA. That's not a problem. There you go. And uh, if you built sandcastles before, we want to show you something new. Okay. All right. So what's the first thing we do? I see you got something set up right here. For yeah, we got uh, we got some buckets about 250 okay. pounds of sand. So our sand is very fine, very sharp. So it sticks together with water really well, and you can do amazing things that you can't do in the rest of the country. So that's what sets South. Padre beaches apart, right? For at least sandcastle building. That's why we're the sandcastle capital of the world. Ooh. Easy. Mm. Okay, right. let's get started. Let's get going. All what right. is this? That's a sand shaper. Yeah. So how is this going to work on that? Right. So what, what I want you to do first is tap that bucket and lift it off for me. Right. Boom. Hey. Oh wow. Nice. Good job, there you go. Good job, okay. Yeah. So Good now what, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the top of this a bit more rounded. Work it around oh, like oh. that, oh. and then you're going to roll like this. Oh. Lift it off. <laughs> Work it around. Yeah, roll. Easy. Okay, go. What are some other tips when you're making sandcastles that people should keep in mind? Very, very simple. In Texas, you always want to get your sandcastle up off the beach, so build a bit of a volcano, fill it with water, make a base. Okay. Then make your sandcastle on top of that. And Mike, you're, you're doing a great job. Right? Doing a, he is doing a good job. Stack everything like a pyramid, fat at the bottom, thin at the top, okay. like me. <laughs> and then and at the end, you always work from the top to the bottom because of gravity. So you're going to lift with both hands. Hold oh, no. on. Lift them up. Oh, oh. <laughs> turn, it, turn it upside down. So and this is surprisingly it. really heavy. Heavy. That's right, it's about 18 pounds, it's a bowling ball. It could be several other things, and one of the main things is 
dun, 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 <laughs> so it can be a Death Star, you see. We can put a Death Star in it. But there you go, and now you can throw it up in the air and catch it. Do you not drop it? Go. How cool oh, toss is... it to me, Mike. Oh, my God. Yeah. Will it, will it hold together? I don't know. Will it hold together? Really? <laughs> really? Let's find out. Oh, my God. Oh! oh. One and a half. Oh my gosh, look at that skull! Andy, does this mean I'm going to Oh my gosh. Walk the plank? Yes, you could you could very well walk the plank. Yes. And for a start you're far too clean on the beach, so that's it, lady. <laughs> it's the chop. So for you guys, I decided to let's recycle some sand and okay. show you how to make something very, very cool. And our island is famous for sea turtles, so we're going to make one of those. Okay. okay. So what we do is, again, start off with wet sand. This is going to be our sea turtle's head. Okay. So we just hold it with our hands and wait until the water drains. Okay. Start with a big sand trail, and we're just going to make a shell. So what I want you to do is just carve me a shield. You don't need to worry. I mean, this is about having fun. Yes. We're on Padre. You're only here for one reason. That's to have fun. That's and right. I agree. Is that pretty good? Yeah. Yes. All right. We're doing great. All right. We're doing great. So what we're going to do now is release release the turtle shape. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aww. I can see him already. I know. He's cute. Yeah. We should name him. So we want to do an eye first. So you've got the I eye. That looks pretty good. Add the stripes in there. Okay. So therapeutic, right? It is. And then your straw yes. is used like this. You put it down and you don't touch this with your fingers. I think we're going to fool some people. I learned so much today. Thank you so much. I think David's ready for his, right? Yeah, so you tell me if this looks good. Yes. Okay. I'm going to create something here. I'm going to borrow some of this uh, yes. some of sand. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm thinking right. he's going to make something to do with food because he's a foodie. Yes, he's a foodie. He is That's a right. Foodie. I've heard about that. Yes. Oh, a donut. It's a, a donut. donut. Yes. yes. Yes, excellent. Andy, thank you so much. No and you do lessons here year round? Yes, we do uh, sandcastlelessons.com. So you just go there and have a look. Uh, all our videos are on YouTube, just under Andy Hancock. And that will show you how to make a sandcastle if you want to have a go first. All summer long, I mean, what a way to relax is make a oh, sandcastle. Absolutely. Or a sea turtle. It, it can, or a donut. On a, a Texas donut. beach, it can't be beaten. Well, Not a chance. I think we should go dive into, dive into the fun. Yep, let's do absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. Saltwater and freshwater will tell you why this one-of-a-kind place on South Padre Island is the perfect family stop. You can get up close with tortoises, alligators, and so many different species of birds. Stop here. It's a place unlike any other in the country, and we are going to take you there. That's coming up on SA Live. Up next, Arr, there be pirates here somewhere. I know it. I'm taking Fiona on a hunt for the pirates. Maybe we'll even find some treasure. You're watching SA Live in South Padre Island, Matey. Down here in South really? Pacific, and they said that there's buried treasure all over the place, and, there's, and there's still pirates around here. What? Look! Oh my hey, gosh! Oh, right. Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hi! Hi! We want to be pirates. Can we join? What do you say, Captain? Well, only if you're brave enough. I thought you said you speak pirate. I do. I do. Here, here. We fire the cannon. I got a fire cannon. And then we'll fire the cannon. And then we'll be pirates. Aye, aye, mate. Aye, aye. All right. Well, aye. Then okay. you get to fire the cannon, mate. One, two, three. Fire! Jeez. You did it! <laughs> I knew you could do it! All right! Oh, yeah, uh -oh. So, I, so are we pirates now? No! There's a lot more training 
Even if you're going to be pirates, what do you say, Captain? Can we take this new trainee? Let's go board him. Yeah. Let's go board the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Your first lesson. Again? Yeah. Now it's time to board the ship. What's the name of your ship? The Black Dragon, matey. Now this is the captain's treasure, mates. Now we gotta protect this treasure at all costs. You understand? Aye, aye. Aye, aye, mates. So are we pirates? Is there no, a quiz? no, no, no. Yeah. You can't be a pirate yet. We got lots of training. Now we need to teach him how to speak like pirates. All right. Ready? I, 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 R, R, pirate. 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 There you have it. <laughs> there you go. That's the pirate alphabet. Now we'll get him on the weapon to pirates use besides guns. Swords. 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 Time to teach you how to fight with a sword. All right. All right. Now this is to protect that treasure. That is Captain's treasure, and we have Captain's personal treasure up above. Here are the rules. There are none. <laughs> Aye, aye. Aye, aye. To make contact wins. And fight. Come on, man. Get in there. Get in there. Let's go. Come on. Whoa, whoa, We got a feisty one. Oh, whoa. Oh, you are loud. I broke something. <laughs> oh, oh. I hear noise up above. Something's going on. We got to go to Captain's quarters. Let's go find out what's going on. What do you say, mates? Aye. Fire the big gun? All right, are you ready to fire the big gun? Yeah. You fire the one downstairs? Hell yeah! I are you pirates! You got to fire this one. It's going to be a good fire cannon. Now, all you got to do, young lady, mm -hmm. is you're going to step back here like okay. this, you got to pull upwards like this, like if you're just like, Whoa. Okay. Yes, mate, kind of like this. Okay. okay. Watch, I won't pull it hard enough. <laughs> it. All right, mates. Ready? Mm -hmm. Now, the way we do this, we trick them. We all wave and look friendly and we say, Oh, hoy there. Oh, oh hoy there. there. And then when they're not looking, we shoot them in the back. Hi, are, mateys. <laughs> Spread the word. The black dragon is here to stay. Arr. Arr. Congratulations, you're official parts of the black dragon. Later on SA Live Show in South Padre, I take you inside restaurants that are serving up some of the best seafood on the island that you gotta visit. Coming up on SA Live in South Padre Island, we'll tell you where you can go to get up close with tortoises like this sweet guy here. It's a place you may not even expect to find them. That's coming up on SA Live. Center. I'm told it's the Bucky's for birds. Let's go inside and check it out. The combination 
combination of salt water and fresh water in the 50 acre habitat is the perfect combination for birds to make their stops here. They can come here, find some food, some shelter, refuel their energy and just keep going to wherever they're heading to. Um, so some birds are here year round, some are here just a few weeks passing through during migration and, and we also have a big diversity that actually spend the winter here. Javier Gonzalez is a naturalist educator, very passionate about maintaining the environment for these flying beauties. There goes a, What's a that? Ye greater yellow legs. It's a short, migratory short bird. He's so good. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> right, it may be a silly question. How do they know to come here? Like, how do you uh, get them to come here? <laughs> well, we just make sure the habitat is to their liking. We make sure that the plants in the, uh, are native to this area. These are the plants that they're looking for. Uh, we make sure that we prepare the habitats and shape them in a way that we know are going to cater to the most species as possible. Part of the experience here is taking the walk that loops all the way around the center. Everything is, is, is uh, wheelchair accessible and we've got about five shaded bird blinds with seating areas along the way where you can sit down and enjoy the scenery and wildlife from. It's the perfect trail to capture images of beautiful birds. And if you're part of the boardwalk, the birds know they don't have to worry about you. Oh. So uh, this is a perfect place to come and learn about these animals because mm -hmm. you, you're allowed to uh, observe them up close. Some of them are fueling up for long journeys ahead. Some birds that stop by here are going all the way to the southern tip of South America. Cool thing about coming out here is you can get this experience feeding the tortoises, right Javi? Mm -hmm. These are African spurred tortoises and they're a lot of fun to feed. You sell this lettuce and they just snack on it a whole day. Let it go. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay he's hungry. <laughs> From sweet tortoises to sassy alligators. This bunch is referred to as nuisance alligators that were living in the wild, but then were fed by humans. They've become comfortable around people, but rather than being taken from their habitat and put down, this is a safe refuge for them. It's the only place in South Padre where you can see alligators. Inside, you'll find bearded dragons, parrots, and even some baby alligators. There's plenty of educators here, all passionate about wildlife conservation. So the tape comes up, don't worry. And while this is a fun family stop in South Padre Island, Javier hopes their mission will rub off on others. To us, we feel like we're doing our job when people want to take this and build it at their own homes. You'll definitely want to go check out the view before you go. From up here, you can truly appreciate this beautiful habitat. So you can see how the habitat changes from one side to the other completely. Wow, what a way to cap off this experience, to come up here and just take in the gorgeous view. I've seen so many birds already way up here. Definitely an experience you want to come out here and check out. I'm going to keep exploring. You guys have fun and make sure you come check out South Padre Island. Still ahead on SA Live, we take you inside Sea Turtles, Inc. And we have a big surprise for some of the turtles that have gone through rehabilitation. Stick with us, you won't want to miss it. Coming up next on SA Live, I'm going to take you inside an approachable seafood restaurant with stuff on the menu for the whole family. Talk about the painted Marlin Grill. You guys got to see what they're cooking up. David Elder and right now on Elder Eats on South Padre Island, we're going to go inside of an approachable seafood restaurant that's cooking up some delicious dishes the whole family can love. Let's go inside the Painted Marlin Grill. Joining me right here is Carlos Cantu, general manager out here at the Painted Marlin here on South Padre Island. All the food right here in front of us looks fun, it's interesting, and it's so colorful. And to get started on a delicious meal out here, you gotta start with a little appetizer, and that's what we got right here. You have like a seared ahi tuna. Talk to me what's going on. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's uh, one of the things, it's a perfect meal when you're like trying to, about to hit the beach or coming off the beach. It's just got a lot of protein in it, fresh tuna. It's got a really nice sear on it. The blackening is just key for tuna. You wanna make sure you're using 
using a cast iron skillet and it's at 500 degrees. If you don't really like seafood, the ahi tuna is mild and the blackened seasoning on the outside, it's a home run. It's really nice when you add those little accoutrements, the little accents on the side, that's when you kick it up to the next level. And it's a really nice way, it's very fresh. Good way to start your meal. And this one right here is interesting. What is going on here? It's a uh, peanut butter shrimp. That's a dish that's actually been on the island for a long time, bounced between restaurants. It's got a uh, fresh Gulf shrimp there, uh, angel hair pasta at the bed. You got a little bit of uh, peppers and a little bit of spicy serranos on top to give it a little bit of flavor. Oh, serranos, y'all ain't playing out here. Then. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> that's for real, yep. All the items on the menu out here are completely approachable for anybody coming out here. They just want to have a good meal, just like the Thai peanut butter shrimp pasta. Across the board, delicious a little sweet from the peanut butter. It's also a little savory, and then you kick it up with those serranos on there, so you got a little bit of spice. It's colorful, and it's pasta, and it's really good seafood. The peanut butter shines through. Mm. It's nice and savory. Mm -hmm. I know I'm all checking myself. Mm -hmm. It's a little messy. <laughs> and once again, it's a, it's a fresh flavor. And I think that's gonna be something that's a note that's gonna shine through all these dishes. And you gotta kick, kick it up, because that peanut butter is sweet, it's a little savory, mm -hmm. you put a little spice on it. That's how you do it right. <laughs> now, what's going on with this one? That's a big old piece of fish right there. Absolutely, yeah. So that's um, that's a redfish fillet. You know, that's uh, typically the redfish here in Texas, Louisiana. It's pretty, really popular, so it lends itself really well. The large fillet and the flakiness of it, it lends itself to a really nice filling. You got spinach, you got bacon, you have heavy cream in there, and then we oven roast it. Texas is known for its redfish, and over here at the Painted Marlin, you can get a stuffed redfish. Comes with a little bit of rice on the side. These little crab cake bites that are out of control. And you got some veggies as well. But the redfish has a really nice seasoning on there and it has hollandaise poured on top. It's like a brunchy version of a redfish. Really good. The flavors blend well nicely. It's a straightforward seafood dish that everybody can like. Crab cake bites. Crab cake All right, you bites. grab one, I'm gonna yeah, get the other. Absolutely. Here, yeah. cheers. Sure, cheers. cheers to you. <laughs> Oh, those are dangerous. You get like 20 of those things in front of you, they'll be gone, you don't even know what happened. Absolutely. <laughs> this is another hugely popular dish right there. So that's a swordfish steak that you see right there. That's a pretty different than the tuna and the redfish and, and shrimp. You know, so we got a nice variety one on here. That swordfish steak's very meaty. Um, so it's, it is it is very much like a steak. You just kind of get a bite, a lot of flavor behind it. And you can cool. see you've got that really good blackening sear on it. Let's Look at see that. It just kind of right off with the fork. Right. Fork tender, mm -hmm. nice flaky on the inside. If you want something a little bit more elevated than the other dishes, you gotta go for the blackened swordfish. This one, nice and tender on the inside, the blackened seasoning on the outside. Really helps bring out the natural flavors of the swordfish. A Little bit of butter on the side as well. A Little bit of rice and veggies. All around, it's just a really good dish. And then you have the skewers on the side, you got the shrimp that are set over a flame. Good flavors and a good blend of all the different items that you can get here at the Painted Marlin. Carlos, thank you so much for having us out here. I'm gonna pass over one of these sure. cocktails you made over here. I was told this is where you're supposed to get them. But you can bring the whole family out here. It's a lot of room. You're right next to the beach and the water. It's gorgeous. And on a sunny day, I can imagine there's no better place to be on the island than right here at the Painted Marlin. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thanks for having us out no here. Problem. Coming up next on SA Live, I take you inside a high-end restaurant that's serving up one of the best surf and turf dishes I've ever seen. It's David Elder, and right now on Elder Eats here on South Padre Island, we're gonna go inside of a high-end restaurant that's serving up some killer seafood and delicious 28-day age steaks. Let's go inside Liam's Steakhouse and Oyster Bar. Now we're inside the restaurant with me right here is Joe Rivas. He is the director of operations. Talk to me what's going on with this salad. It's table side, right? Yes, of course. This is a Mediterranean salad and our servers do a great job and people love it when they come and toss the, you know, the salad in front of them. This, you know, they, they, they really enjoy that. You know, this, that means it's fresh with greens. The table side Mediterranean salad is absolutely delicious. It's so light and refreshing. And when you're eating all of this decadent food, it's a great way to start to feel like you're doing something healthy. Grab a little yeah, shrimp sure. with me. Yeah. We're just gonna yes, use sir. our hands. I there know it's a go, fancy man. restaurant, but you gotta have fun with it, right? Of course, man, why not? That dressing that's on there is fantastic. This is the ultimate surf and turf, the bone-in ribeye. Served up with a lobster tail. Come on! 
on. Would you say that the surf and turf item is one of the most popular entrees that you have? Well, definitely it is. Oh my goodness. Cooked to a beautiful medium rare. Look at that. When you're on South Padre Island and you really want to treat yourself, you've got to get the surf and turf at Liam's Seafood and Steakhouse. It'll blow your mind. And you got to get the lobster tail with the bone-in ribeye. It's a 28-day aged ribeye, seasoned to perfection, covered in butter, grilled right there, flames just busting up all around it. It is absolutely delicious, served up with the potato and some asparagus on there. So you're getting your veggies, don't worry about it. It's big enough to share, but you're going to finish it all by yourself. A wonderful, wonderful entree and a great way to show off and showcase the food over here on the island. The lobster is cooked so perfectly. It's nice and tender, seasoned well on the outside, a little texture as well. But that steak, that bone-in flavor all throughout. And you said this is an aged ribeye, is that correct? Exactly. Our media is aged up about 28 days. Oh, wow. Before you can make it to a table. So that flavor and, and uh, texture is totally different. Now it's time for dessert. Talk to me what's going on. Well, that's what we, uh, what we call them. Uh, some of the people call it the uh, dragon's egg. Hmm. But also a uh, chocolate bomb. To wrap up the delicious meal that you're gonna have out here at Liam's Seafood and Steakhouse, you gotta get the dragon egg, get the hot fudge, pour it right over that thin chocolate shell. It busts open, reveals the ice cream. You have some of the jelly on the plate as well. So you have some of that sweetness, you have the creaminess, a little bit of the bitter from the chocolate all combined together. It makes the ultimate dessert bite. It's a great way to wrap up a fantastic meal over here on South Padre Island. Give me some love. That's delicious. Yep. From start to finish, everything you're making out here really is just, this is where you go to get wowed on South Padre Island. Really nice stuff. Follow it up with a wonderful list of wine that you have available out here as well. Give me a cheers, Joe. Yep. Thank you so much for having no us problem. out here. Well, thank you Liam's, for visiting us. Oh, of course. Liam, Seafood and Steakhouse. This is where you gotta come and try. The steak and the lobster is gonna blow you away, and you gotta wrap it up with that dragon egg dessert. And of course, wine. Get, get a bottle of it, too. <laughs> yeah, Don't drive, course. though. Of Just course. walk where you're going. <laughs> Padre, we are at Longboards where you can enjoy dinner, even some drinks on this awesome patio. And they even have a sky deck and an upstairs bar and live music seven days a week. You know, and the nice thing about South Padre Island, it's kind of the best of both worlds. On the Gulf side, you get those beautiful sunrises. And over here, overlooking Laguna Madre, some folks say this is the best sunset on the island. Cheers, cheers to that. To cheers. Yeah. Yeah. cheers. You won't want to miss it.
thing to do here at South Padre Island is to check out Sea Turtle Inc. Not only do they treat sea turtles here, you can also get up close with them. Let's go inside and check it out. Sea Turtle Inc. has been around for 44 years, and sea turtles are endangered species. So to help their populations, we have a hospital, we treat and release the injured ones. So the educational facility has six tanks for stingrays and sharks and turtles on display. The hospital may have 20 patients, 30 patients, 40 patients, wow. where the visitors can learn about their injuries and why they're here. We want our visitors to come and learn about sea turtles, but we also want them to learn about our environment and how uh, the waterways in Texas make their way to the ocean. And so we all play a role. We're all important ambassadors uh, in protecting our environment, whether that be in San Antonio or here on, on the beaches. In any one year, we might treat 100, 200, 300 injured turtles that wash up on our beaches and they're treated and released, which we're going to take part in here in a few minutes. But these are turtles that become aquarium animals. And after saying hello to the aquarium animals, take a walk to Turtle Inc's hospital, where it's time to visit the patients. treats injured or ill turtles back to good health. With love and care, the turtles are rehabilitated. Like Milo, who washed up ashore with pneumonia. She's in very shallow fresh water so her body can hydrate, as opposed to salt water, as she takes the antibiotics. Now as she gets stronger, she'll then go into a deeper pool to swim and regain her strength. This is where you can see them up close. The hospital is equipped with x-ray machines, a surgical suite, anesthesia machines, and the public can watch through the windows. This experience was a treat for us. It's not open to the public to get this close to the patients. And when the turtles are in good health, they're released into the gulf. Today, four lucky turtles are going home. Once we got to the shore, it was time. We went through the ocean to let these four little guys go. Now the way it works, if you find an injured turtle along the coast here, you get to name it. My favorite name out of these four, Brisket. We had to walk out pretty far to let them go, and then it was time. volunteers who put so much love and hard work into rehabilitating these sea turtles. If you look real closely, you'll see their little heads pop up as if they're saying goodbye. Wow, this team is really doing amazing things out here at South Padre Island. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dressel. the rail of the board, the edges. We take a board, we put it on the sand, put them on the board, and we teach them how to push up. They're laying on the board, and they push up with both their hands, push up and go to your feet very quickly. And you have to come up 
perpendicular sideways to the board. And if you do wipe out, we tell them to put their hands over their head so if they come up, if they, the board is there, they don't hit their head with the board, they hit their hands. South Padre Island, I think, is the best surfing place in the entire state. You can ask all the surfers in the state. We have the prettiest beaches, best waves, beautiful location, and we have lots of instructors here on the island, surf shops, and other private individuals that can teach them as well. So it's a great place to learn to surf. Well, this has been so much fun here at South Padre Island. We have definitely got to come back again really soon. Yes, and shiver me timbers. We had a good time <laughs> with those pirates, right? And the sea turtles, you have to check out Sea Turtle Inc. And we got to see them get released. It was such an amazing experience. One of the little guys was named Brisket. Made me think of you, David. That's very sweet. <laughs> and all the delicious seafood, the restaurants out here, a definite must try when you're on the island. Oh, and the sand on the beach is just almost indescribable. So be sure to go to their website, So Padre dot com and check out everything they have down here. It is beautiful. Bye!